Hi, my name's John. I'm into radio call sign M7CPT. In this video, I'm going to be constructing my first ever ballon. The one I've chosen to do first is the one-to-one -one ballon. It's used for center-fed dipoles. And it's also known as a common mode choke. That's because it eliminates the common mode currents that you may have. It also prevents your coax from acting as part of your antenna. And with that being said, welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Incidentally, this video is part of a playlist where I'll be going through all the different balloons I'll be building. I'll place a link up in the corner. It begins with my first order and the unboxing of stuff. In the description below, you'll also find uh, a link to ham goodies with a 10% discount code. Also, the uh, eBay products that I buy are all links down below along with any that I could find supplied by Amazon for those of you that don't like using eBay now these are affiliate links except for the ham goodies one so I do get a small commission for each one of those that helps out the channel but it does not cost you any more. And if you wish to help out the channel further by offering support, you'll find a link to buymeacoffee.com and I could do with the coffee. Okay, from what I've been told, uh, the most important ballon technically isn't actually a ballon uh, it's a, a one the one-to-one -one conversion and it's used as a common mode choke but this will be the kind of ballon that you want on every aerial from what i've been told so let's get down to making some. These are the components you'll need. This is a type 31. Uh, it's an FT240 31. I chose the 240 size because this has been my first ballon. I wanted to make it easy for myself. Recommended wire to go with this size is the 18, size 18 WG, AWG, uh, PTFE wire. When you're actually using these, this, I'm told, can get hot. The PTFE wire won't melt with the heat that this gets to. So let's get to it. According to the instructions, I need four pieces of wire, 80 centimeters long. So I've cut them and now we just need to actually attach them to the core. So 
person. Strap them in with a cable tie. Apparently this needs to be done nice and tight. So as we pass the wire through, each time the wire passes through the central core is counted as a single turn. So that's one, can see why that needs to be tight now this wire is slippy and it's got to be tight so let me just wrap this round uh, I've got to go through the center a total of 12 times so that's two and 12 and now we need to do exactly the same on the opposite side but with the wires the opposite way around so we get an exact mirror image let me just pause the video while I do that let's just count the turns one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There. Now, uh, this wire, one thing I, should, I will say, it's not easy to get a grip on it, it's almost as though there's wax on it. As you can see, we start with the red in the centres, with the yellow out on the outside of it. It ends up with the yellow on the inside. And the red on the outside. Now I connect red to red, and yellow to yellow, the same at the other end. And that gives us our common mode choke, a one to one ballon. And with a single core, this is supposed to be rated uh, anything up to 400 watts, which is the UK legal limits. Uh, for those of you that are wondering how this can actually be used abroad, where the license allows higher power, 
This, I'm told, should be good for up to a thousand watts. However, with some countries having a legal limit of 1500, in order to do that, you take two cores and just place one on top of the other and then wind it in the set exactly the same way. And that will give you a core capable of doing 2K. Well, for me, because my UK license only allows a maximum of 10 watts, yes, this is overkill. But, it's my first balloon. Let's get these ends connected. Oh. Unfortunately, I ran out of PTFE, so I need to order some more. Uh, in the meantime, I've wound one up exactly the same using enameled copper wire. The enameled copper wire should work just as well at my power rating, so I'll use that in the boxes that you don't get to see the wire. These ones I'll keep for the later ones that have the transparent lids. So let's dig out the uh, soldering iron and get set up to do some soldering. Alright, first things first. Let's get this enamel scrapes off the end so we can actually solder it. I've twisted the ends together that should be together. That's the inner two 
that's the outer two. If I flip it over, I have the outer two and the inner two. I just got to remember which one's which when it comes to soldering. And to make it easier once I've done that, I've got some little short pieces of the PTFE left over, so I'll attach one to each of the relevant ends so I don't get confused because of the colours. Okay, now that lot's done. Time to drill the holes in the box. See you outside.
There we go. One song. Ballon or choke or whatever you want to call it. Should work. Before I go, uh, I'd like to ask if any of you have seen any mistakes during the video that I may have made, please mention them in the comments below. Also, if you know of how to test this specific ballon before actually putting it out and connecting the aerial and putting it on the radio, Please also let me know of that. Don't forget that uh, if you've enjoyed the video, there's some buttons down below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Also, don't forget to check out the uh, description for the links to all the items that I purchased, including your 10% discount from Ham Goodies. There are affiliate links, but they do not cost you anything. And in addition to that, if you wish to support the channel any further, don't forget you can always buy me a coffee. And with that being said,
Tschüss.